Hello everyone, today I'll have a very useful video for those who are really tired of charging their smartphones, phones, or tablets. After these settings, your Android phone will hold a charge for a really long time. I'll tell you about the main battery problems. Why does the battery drain quickly? Sometimes you buy a new phone, it holds a charge very well, but after 234 months, you notice that the phone doesn't last until the end of the day. That is, you wake up with 100%, you go to work or on a trip, and by the evening you have 15 to 20% left. So the phone works for about 8 hours. Even if the phone is not under maximum load, we need to use the default settings. Here they are. Let's go into them and find a section called Google. If you use the Google Play Store, then you definitely have this section, so find it and go here. Look at the menu. In some cases, it may look like this now with all the services on the right side. I click on it and here are additional settings, where you immediately get to this menu. So, nothing will change. It's recommended to go to personalization with general data. Here, you'll have several apps, some might have 567. For example, I have 4, well, let's say another 5, you'll go there and be surprised, they'll all be active. And below, you can read about it in more detail. I'll just give you a quick overview. The first thing is to allow Google Apps to use data on your device. And what is this data? This is absolutely all the data that relates specifically to these apps that are enabled, for example, maps, as well as location, access to your GPS, your route, and so on. This includes all your mail, YouTube, what you search for in Google Chrome if you search for any information there. Well, this is still a very small part of what I said. In general, this should be enabled. But again, look, you can't disable everything. For example, I leave YouTube enabled for myself. I don't know how others can disable it. You can disable it or not. If you watch videos on YouTube a lot, you can leave this slider as is. If you watch infrequently, it'll be easier to find similar videos. Basically, you don't need this slider either. You can also disable it. 